Hey guys, I get inspired by concrete stories from the decision makers of the insurance and finance industry. That's why I asked Maurice Tebert from the Dutch insurer ASR to join me at the InsurTech Insights for a fireside chat. But what to do when an airline destroys your travel plans and you need to leave early, leaving your friend on stage? You call another friend asking to jump in. And that's why I'm so happy that Eric Fulweiler, the director of Vayner Media in the beautiful city of London, was so kind to jump in. And now see the high points of the fireside chat at the Intratech Insights between Maurice and Eric. What are some of the things that you're excited about and see either as challenges or opportunities in the world of digital for ASR this year? Don't try to build up a new team. Don't buy. Uh, don't try to learn a new technology. For example, if you want to have, uh, do lots of things more with mobile apps, just buy a, a native React agency. Uh, buy 15 people instead of trying to recruit 10 people over uh, two or three years' time. It takes too much time to uh, find the right talent, to attract the talent. You have to focus on uh, moving fast. And integrate it as fast as possible, which is also a curse, of course, because usually we say, well, let's buy a company, put it aside for a few years, let's see what happens, and in time we integrate them. And my advice is now buy them, integrate them as fast as possible, because you will lose half of the people. But you need this technology, you need this advantage uh, which they have, and we have the unfair advantage of able to buy these type of companies. So that's our uh, yeah, way to go. A few hours ago there were lots of VCs here on stage. I hear the same story all the time. There's lots of money going into the VC area, millions, hundreds of millions. There are no real good exits in your tech. So the thing is that if you really want to grow this, then you have to invest it yourself. It's such a complex uh, industry, yeah. the adding most value, and are there specific external skills and experiences that add more value? You mentioned digital, for instance, but what are the things that you think an external perspective could or could not bring to um, an insurance board? What's an interest perspective? Perspective is always necessary, of course. It also happens if, because it's a very um, walled garden insurance industry, so if you put too much and too fast change with a, with a person, a board member, or something like that, uh, what you're really organizing is a fight, uh, a corporate allergy which will take all the discussions because it's like some people are talking Chinese and some people are talking Dutch and they don't understand each other. So it doesn't work that way. So the real change, and that is why the insurance industry is also transforming slowly bit by bit, is that the change should come from people who understand the business, the insurance model, the specific things which makes us that we have unfair advantage in our markets and uh, also be able to talk to the digital people, understand the money people, the finance people and to, to bridge them. So my main discussion is always because the same also within the ASI I said, well, put, try to put, uh, make a lot of combinations and try to work together and to learn from each other. I was trying to take a learning perspective, it takes my time. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for a newsletter so we can give you all the hottest news trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.